they're going to begin their stampede up the B ramp. Into the site they go. And the taps are in. Christo's good on it. Chips. A second one, though, on his dual Berettas. Zipex does get the trade and makes it a three versus three. But the flanks start to activate as well. And Patrick will find his on the duallys. It's finding so much success. Another headshot and a pistol round for 500. It's clean as can be. Yeah, that was a little bit of a fake. The bomb was all the time down towards middle, so it is a little bit of a risk, especially after losing Glaive. You gotta regroup. You can't let the bomb play alone. Nikki, oh. the bomb head. that's a lovely shot. Spots two more. Doesn't really need to get into a fight, and he realizes that he can just stay alive and look at Chips. He's gonna get aggressive. Oh, that's a great move, Zip. He's gonna throw the flash, but there's nothing behind that flash, and Chips is gonna realize that quite soon. Oh, sneaking on out. Gets a spot on the Zip. Zip needs an instant headshot, and instead he'll go down to 21 HP and then get finished off by Dennis Law. And now they know that this play is going towards B. Nikki holding this massive off angle into the headshot on a Christo. And Mr. Last One Standing is Jacob peeking between the doors. That's really all you can do, all you can hope for, because there's also Rain Waker holding the line. And there it is. The headshot's through. It's a 3 0 star for 500. Chips gets the kill onto Crystal, Mister with one more, and now it's just Glaive and Mister. A two versus four, 25 seconds. They gotta get a move on, and Nikki's gonna drop the bomb over towards middle, leaving Mister in a one versus four clutch. That sadly is never gonna happen. He might actually want to go down before time, and Nikki's gonna make sure of it. A double kill for the IGL five unanswered rounds here for the Bulgarians on the CT side of Ancient. Just testing to see if I'm back. We'll see if. Uh... Things can keep rolling here. As for now, Dennis Law. And it's actually going to get ran down. Mister with a double kill on the entry. And we are still Ooh. back in. And Nikki. All right. A triple kill in for the 500 boys. Now just leaving Christo in a 1v3. And Ships is going to swing back on through. Christo's down. Patrick not going to stick around actually towards the Jaguar side. He might get caught unawares as they're already walking up nope. into the site. Nikki caught sleep. sleeping. And what does a collateral oh. though from Dennis Law to save this round? Man advantage garnered for 500. And Astralis, now Mr. just waiting for his teammates to get into position. But he'll take the time to plant that bomb. 2v3 as it stands, trying to get himself some space to get out of dodge. But now he doesn't have a teammate. A new boy on the block, the move up, Mister, to try and put a clutch on the board here for a Astralis, but Dennis Law is not letting any of that happen. It is seven to nothing. So with 20 seconds remaining, Astralis are going to commit to this B site, and Patrick, oh, oh, he goes down instantly. That could have been a very big linchpin in the round, but nothing paying dividends here. Instead, Ships coming back in rotation. Ships sees oh. an opportunity, and he turns it to a double. All of a sudden, it's blank with time. 10 seconds left. Time is ticking, and he needs to plant that bomb or get these kills. And no I think time. he's just forfeited this round. He has forfeited the round over to 500. He'll get the kill, sure. But, I mean, that's cold there from 500, from Ships, no less, and grins across the Bulgarians. Hey guys, make sure to check out Cisco Fast, the oldest website in the industry. Cisco Fast has many cool price raffles, daily bonuses, and gifts for regular users. Their website has the biggest variety of different modes, including PvP modes, such as Classic, where you try to play versus other players, or PvE modes, such as X50, Poggy, Crash, and many other, including my favorite game, Tawa, where you try to climb to the top, and the higher you get, the higher is the reward. Here, as an example, with just $5, I managed to get all the way up and got $212 as the reward. So guys, if you want to play on CSGO fast, don't forget to use my code VLADO to get $1 for free on your balance. Link to CSGO fast will be in the description below. I thought I could have taken down Dennis Law there, but instead Nikki now will take an opportunity to push down the ramp, but he's being watched for by Zip. All three 500 players are towards that A-bomb site. Astralis have no idea. And Rain Waker's holding the perfect angle. They don't no clear way. him. And who needs the stack when you just have Rain Waker bomb down inside well a donut? Done. Time is too, ticking too far here. 
Uh, Ted, I think Rain Waker might have just single-handedly done it. Ten seconds remaining, and Deneslaw is even there to lock it in. I can't believe it. Chips? Oh. Is he going to be ready for this? Oh, he absolutely oh. is. Chip. And he's jumping midair, going wild. for that. He stays alive, and that's the only important thing that matters. And it's man advantage. 500, they fall back. Ships, he's thinking about going for the repeat there. Oh, oh that's crazy. man. That's so unfortunate for Zip. That's painful. He turned his back towards his opposition, and it makes the kill easy. And Ship on 10 HP has found a second. Three on the round total. Rain Waker out towards triple. This is just a done and dusted round. Call it quits. 11-0 for 500. Was this the scoreline you were expecting in this matchup? No, Not me. No. It's good utility. Blah blinded up. Rain Waker can't fight, and Nikki's gonna have to drop his smoke to try and preserve his own. Ships, though, comes back in rotation, and this is the heaviest hitter. Still staying alive as well. Dodging at a Tech Nine oh. The USP is uh -oh. out. And I mean, what What's is going, going on? on? Everyone's blind. Him. No one can see a thing. It's just Glaive all of a sudden. He'll find the one edge shot, but that's all. And it stays flawless for 500. Ships is just having fun. He just pulls out his knife. That person was so much. Bristo posted up on his angle, looking out towards the donut, snipes down the first, trying to do his damnness as the offer no on the post plant. Yeah, the times run too thin. They're just gonna try and start no the way. defuse as soon as possible. No but way. I don't even think there's time for that. Defuser has been stopped and finally, this flawless streak has been broken by Astrala. Would make it somewhat respectful, but this is still quite scary. They need to hold for more. Oh, but Dennis Law, that's a huge off angle being taken there. Mister thinks he could shove, push, and now Nikki again at the bottom of the ramp is going to shut them down at the door. And the bomb's on the ground once again for Astralis. And we're looking at another dud here for the Danes. They push through. They keep trying. They keep trying. But nothing works here for Astralis. We're going to see 13 for 500. I mean, it's a half by sure. Talk all you want about it. But I mean, they had the AKs. They had the ability to be threatening in this round. And this is the result. It's just instant there from Nikki. He's supposed to be the IGL. He's supposed to be Glaive's counterpart. But smoke deployed by the CTs to shut them down inside of Donut. But there's also a flank. Flame map has snuck inside of the spawn, but I think Ships is aware. Ships spots the barrel. Sp Ships gets the kill, but now they run it back to B. It's a wild goose chase as they run back and forth, but Patrick on the off angle could cut the cross. First headshot down, commits to the spray. It's only damage on the zip back, but Ships wants to close it down. The bomb planter stuck on the site. Christo, no room to maneuver. Has to fight his way out of position. They get out of dodge, and he does. He finds Denisla. Another kill for Christo, but the two kills do come through before the kills from Astralis. It'll be 14 to 1 again here, Ted. You think it's the inevitable? We'll see as he pushes forward, though. Oh, it's just an instant headshot. And he even gets wow. the next in line. It just doesn't, it just can get worse here. I mean, now it's only Zipex. He's an armorless USP. Yeah. And Rain Waker single-handedly cleaned up the entire B defense. Welcome to 15 here for 500. And this could be the most dominant map of the ESPO so far. Yeah, this will be the most dominant map. If they close it out 16-1, that's insane. And who would have thought, after all the possible matchups that we have in both Group A and Group B, it's going to be 500 to take down Astralis like that. This has been some rough stuff. Yeah, Talk it's about the start match. on the T sides. I, I'm still oh, yeah. comfortable that if they start this game on the CT side, they will probably make it a lot closer. All the boost. This is so nasty. Up and above. I mean, it gets a little bit of tag damage. A great flash, but okay. A headshot through the wall. That'll do here for Glaive. But inside the smoke. Come on. It couldn't get more rattier oh. than this. He gets two kills off the back of it. And now ships even. He has the molly. That is so rude. It's not going to touch him. They can just take it. He's Wait a minute. It. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. It has to be the knife or maybe the spam. It doesn't matter. It's 500 into playoffs. A 16-1 over Astralis. Who would have thought?